What's going on YouTube? Snaps here with TKO Gaming. Here we are in the tower. I'm going to tell you guys the top five shotguns to use in the game. But before we get into that, can I just vent for one second? Elgato, why are you boning me in the ass? God damn it. I made two perfect axis challenge runs. Boom. Gone. Footage. All corrupt. Then I go and make this commentary that you see. Eight minutes, nine minutes live commentary. Boom. Crashed. Didn't work. Jesus, God, I need some help. Anyways, um, I'm going to do this for you guys. All right, you guys are probably like, yo, Snipes, aka Seppins, which is Snipes backwards. Why the hell are you making a top five shotguns video? Well, because guys, this is the meta in the Crucible right now. This is what you are using. Most of you are. Anyways, I mean, what? The statistic is 22% of kills are done by this damn gun right here. The Matador 64, a.k.a. the Mapador 64, a.k.a. the best shotgun in the game. I'm going to tell you guys the best shotguns in the game and what perks to have on those shotguns. All right. So let's get our notebooks out, peoples. Because and trust me, some of you guys may be like, yo, everybody knows what you're about to say. Not true. We have so many people come to us for help. You guys know we help in trials and raids and all sorts of things. You guys come to us, we look at your weapons, and you guys don't have the right roles on. You have the right roles, but you don't have them selected. And you have these great shotguns just stored in your vault. Well, please, guys, share this video. Hit a like on it. It helps other people see. And let's get into it. So the Matador 64, guys, two perks you want on it. First one, reinforced barrel and or rifled barrel. All right. The only difference between the two perks are rifled barrel doesn't get rid of your stability, right? Both give you the same amount of range. Then you want to have aggressive ballistics on the very left perk. The most important perk, though, I should say, is reinforced barrel or rifled barrel. Do not worry about the stability on shotguns, especially shotguns that like what? Like expect like, come on, look at this shit. God damn it rate of fire is so low it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how fast or how good your stability is it really doesn't matter and i'm sorry if i'm mumbling guys i just got off of work i've been awake for like too long i need to go to sleep but i need to make this video for you guys to help you out right trials is coming back tomorrow we're going to be streaming it you guys are going to be trying it we got to make sure we get it right god damn it so these two perks really don't matter you have final round and we have cascade on my shotgun it does not matter okay keep in mind what we want the most is reinforced rifled and or aggressive so that's the best shotgun in the game right there okay i have some year one versions of that gun as well and i have year one versions of the second shotgun i'm going to talk about which is the party crasher plus one if you go and get the party crasher plus one you need to make sure that you have these two perks as well reinforced barrel aggressive ballistics Honestly, aggressive ballistics doesn't matter that much, but it gives you that max impact that the shotgun can have. It really does help out, okay? So, what I want you guys to do is take a look at the other perks, the other two perks. This one has Luck in the Chamber, which makes one random bullet in the shotgun super powerful. Really is helpful for if your opponent is a little bit further than uh, your range in your shotgun. You actually could still one hit shot kill them or whatever. Also, if a super is coming at you, for example, a blade dancer, you can just one hit shotgun that guy or you can melee and most likely get a trade. That range finder perk, though, does help a lot. It does add a little bit of range, not too much. I've been told that the range is maxed out. It doesn't really add anything else, but playing a lot of sweats and competitive destiny makes me feel like this perk actually does help. So keep that in mind. And this one, as you guys can see, has a rifled barrel. The two differences between the first or the best shotgun and the second best shotgun are, as you can see, the rate of fire, which is very, very important. And Party Crasher has a little bit less impact. All right. Now, trust me, that impact does make a difference, believe it or not. All right, let's get on to the third best shotgun. In my opinion, the third best shotgun is the Conspiracy Theory D. Now, this shotgun you can get from the quest line in the beginning, man. It's so easy. It comes with range finder, it comes with performance bonus, and it comes with rifled barrel. You keep that stability, which doesn't freaking matter. Remember that. And uh, you come with a couple of these random perks. Accurized ballistics is not that bad, um, but if you can see, take a look, it does reduce that range just a tad bit and it adds on to the uh, impact 
a little bit. Aggressive still adds more, so keep that in mind. But the rate of fire of the Conspiracy D is horrible, goddammit. Look at that shit, it's so bad. Like, you have to be very accurate with the shotgun. Plus, on top of that, I'm not gonna lie, this shotgun has been very inconsistent for my brother and I. Like, we use this shotgun a lot, especially on when we're on your guys' accounts and you guys don't have any other good shotgun except for the Questline shotgun. We make this shotgun work, but sometimes it does wonders and then sometimes it's like yo that guy should have died and he barely got hit i don't know if that's a connection issue or what but just want to put that out there now in my first video when i made this commentary i actually didn't get the curtain call but i turned in a legendary engram and i got the curtain call god damn it which actually has pretty good perks but it has small bore small bore does add the range however it does not add as much range as uh, for example hammer forge or rifled or reinforced barrel now reinforced barrel and rifle barrel will add the most range hammer forge i believe will add the second most range um but range finder on shotguns like the curtain call and the next two shotguns or the next shotgun i'll talk about is very very important guys so i will actually i would put the curtain call as the last option in case you don't have any other shotgun to use i would say that it's a tie between the curtain call and the proud Spire, let's go ahead and compare those to the base stats at least. Look at that rate of fire on the Proud Spire. Yeah, it has a little bit less impact, but I don't honestly, both of these shotguns are, they're not very likely to just body or one hit kill the opponent because of the impacts of the two uh, shotguns. I don't know why, did I see snipers? I don't know, whatever, have fun, make fun of me. Anyway, so you have the stability uh, of the Proud Spire, which is still pretty high, which is, actually does help with a high rate of fire shotgun. But once again, both of these shotguns, you need to have the rangefinder perk because you cannot max out the range like you can on the Party Crasher and uh, the Matador. Now, I would say that if you guys don't care about like limited edition or exclusive shotguns, if you come over to the Dead Orbit, um, no, I will not pledge my allegiance to you right now. I am with the Future War Cult, um, but I love Dead Orbit, don't get me wrong. So you got Last Ditch 001. This shotgun, I would say, is the third slash fourth best shotgun in the game, but I'm not gonna put it in the list, so don't, don't put it in the list, all right? Do not, because you have to pledge your allegiance to Dead Orbit, and I don't think that I wanna put this shotgun in, because there's other good options that you can use, or I should say better options you can use, but once again, if you have this shotgun, take it out of your vault and use it if you don't have any of the other ones I'm talking about. All right, last shotgun I would say to use, my friends, uh, and I would put this uh, as the fourth slash fifth best shotgun is the Invective. The reason being, the rate of fire is pretty high on the shotgun. The impact is, eh, is okay, not bad. The stability is pretty high. Uh, the range is not bad, all right? And the good thing is, with all of these, comes the re regeneration aspect of the shotgun. In Crucible, a lot of the people are just running around with shotguns. As soon as your opponents run out of shotgun ammo, guess what, bitch? I got an invective. That shit is recharging like a motherfucking iPhone. That thing is working, man. He's getting all the freaking ammo that you can get. You can spray your opponents. Blah, 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 blah. Now, of course, you have to wait a little bit longer than usual to get your ammo back. But, hey, it still works. It's an effective shotgun. Shotguns like the invective and the proud spire and the last ditch and the curtain call are best used with classes with um extended melees for example the arg warlock the storm crawler this shit is crazy i think i called it the storm crawler on accident whatever it's a weird class the melee with amplified is insane that shit is just crazy 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 um, and other classes like the Titan where you barely have to damage your opponent and you can still get the kill because when you melee with a Titan, especially a Striker Titan, and the melee is actually supercharged, you want to make sure that you know that you do like 178 damage. So you barely have to, you have to do like 30 damage on your opponent with any gun, could be a primary too, and you just melee and boom, the guy is freaking dead. So. Um, that's pretty much it guys. Um, sorry it was all over the place, but I really hope that it helped you guys understand. I guarantee you, so many of you probably have gem shotguns just sitting in your vault and you didn't even know about it. Well, I hope this video helps you guys and I really hope that you get so many more kills in the Crucible now. I really hope they buff snipers. I'm going to be making a video on top 5 snipers 
I'm going to be making videos on uh, on the best hand cannon rolls, the best pulse rifle rolls. We'll do comparisons as well for you guys. If you guys want to see anything, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to TKO Gaming, please do so now. What are you waiting for? Join the TKO Gaming family. Come check us out on our live stream. We're about to apply for a sub button on Twitch. It would mean the world to us if you guys helped us out by watching us on our stream and helped us get there. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for being positive for showing the support you do on my videos, the likes on my videos, we're getting like 200 plus likes every single video. I wanna see that number continuously go up. I wanna see the subscriber family count continuously go up because I wanna to continue to do this for you guys and I wanna to continue to help you guys and make your life easier in Destiny, more enjoyable in Destiny, more time efficient in Destiny. Um, and let's do it, man. This game is beautiful. The grind is amazing. Trump is president. Wait, what? No, I hope you guys saw my last video. Uh, anyways, I'll see you in the next video. I love you guys. Peace.